A famous poet once wrote, Fear not the future, weep not for the past. It's a dangerous game when you reinvent an already esteemed show car, but in this case, the past accomplishments were to be celebrated and the future would leave everyone floored. Hi, my name is Joe from Sydney, I'm 28, and it's Mari 7. Flip back to edition number 157 of Hot Fours and you'll find gracing the cover a very different FD RX-7. The reason why I put the St George, full fanatic of them, so I've dated the interior white, red, got sponsored by St George Dragons. After a few months, got pretty bored. My mate said, you got a beautiful car, try something different and um, Joe, it's time for a change. Normal red doesn't stand out, do a candy red. Just done the whole design again and look at it now, it looks really good. So. The St George theme has been completely overhauled for a more show-oriented build. The mighty dragon that once adorned the bonnet was done away with when the full candy apple red respray was applied. It's a hard colour to top, and when the sun hits the custom chrome exterior additions and 22-inch Diamo rims, it's a striking combination. The guards are customised to squeeze in those rims, and giving it a practical and tough ride height of Bilstein coilovers front and rear. Once you open the scissor doors and have a look inside, you'll see the interior is one of the most custom and thorough getting around. The colour I've redone again, new interior, different colour interior. I don't think I've ever seen a car with chrome interior and a suede interior and actually done that myself. Uh, no one's actually had plasma TVs in their 22 inch, everyone's got the little sevens, I thought I'll try something different. The wheels, I've changed them all, everyone's got chrome, I thought try something black with shadow chrome. It took me a while to choose the colour, because everyone's got a lot of candy, so I chose this candy red, something a bit different. Red suede and leather were the fabrics of choice, and applied liberally throughout. No surface has remained untouched. Custom trim work also takes pride of place on a few select surfaces, like the steering wheel and passenger airbag. If it hasn't been attacked by the trimmer, then it's been chromed. The contrast between the plush fabrics and clean chrome work to perfection. The chromed plastics have also been used for custom pods to house the in-cabin Alpine speakers. In the back, a custom bench-style enclosure has been fabricated and trimmed, housing two beastly clarion subwoofers, cadence capacitor, and a mammoth 22-inch LCD. The strength of the cabin install alone is enough to take home trophies, but open the hatch and take a step back. The same split and mid-range speaker combo has been used in the boot install. And at the center of the full custom enclosure is another LCD and Sony PlayStation 2. The viewing angle of the LCD can be adjusted at the flick of a switch. And every single component in the full install is controlled by a top of the line Kenwood DVD head unit. Redone the engine all chrome, uh, got the interior all chrome and stuff. I've done a lot to match it with the colour with the red piping and stuff and uh, more chroming on their end. There are many ways to extract power from the 13B rotary. Being a factory tuned twin turbo, it was decided to get those numbers up, a big single was required. An externally gated GT35 sits atop a custom manifold. The custom front mounted intercooler and exhaust system take care of the rest. Working together with an uprated fuel system and Microtech ECU, it kicks ass, breathing 360 horsepower at the treads. More than enough go to match the show. From day one, I've always wanted a show car, but when I seen the performance and the power that was in that car, I wanted to change it back to the um, just street car. Then I thought to myself, not worth it, get pulled over by police and stuff, so I made it back into the show car it is. The reactions I get towards the car, it's like uh, someone getting attacked, uh, something that just stands out in the open. Just driving, everyone just wants to attack the car. What is it? What is it? It's like Lamborghini or something, I don't know what it is. Although the car has undergone a tremendous transformation, make no mistake, beneath it all, still beats the heart of a fire-breathing dragon.